Today we're going to take a look at the Handle It Model 800 Stretch Wrapper. Uh, the controls on this unit are the exact same as the Handle It 850 PS. So if you're using that machine, you can follow these procedures in order to, to use that machine. So when you look at the machine, on both of them, you're going to have fork pockets in the front. And then you come around to the turntable. And the fork pockets run through the machine, so they are on the back side as well. The controls are going to be here. And then when you come around the back side, you have the carriage here. Film is loaded here, and it's inserted through these rolls. The carriage on the 850PS is, is a power pre-stretch carriage, so it's going to be a bigger carriage with a motor attached to it. It allows you to maximize your film usage. If you're wrapping, I would say more than 40 loads a day, I would go to the pre-stretch feature because you're going to save a lot more money on your film. Here you have the photo eye sensor. What that does, it detects the height of the pallet, so it tells the carriage when it can go back down. And I'll come back around and I'll show you the controls. First of all, there is an emergency stop button here. If you pull this out, it'll stop the machine if anything happens. Turn to the one position, which is the on position. First thing it's going to do, it's going to ask you to reset. And it won't do anything right now because we are at the home position on everything. When it beeps, it's ready to go. If that turntable was not at the home position, it would rotate to that position. And the carriage, if it was up, it would go down to the home position. So as you're looking at the screen, notice it shows we're in the auto mode. If you click this button right here, you can go to the manual mode. Um, for the manual mode, in order to move this turntable you can hold this turntable button down if you hold it down just stop it won't keep going if you hold it down until you hear a beat it'll continue to rotate and the carriage you can push this button to raise it up and this one to raise it down and if you want to stop just hit the turntable button again and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit the reset but so that everything goes back to the home position because when I go into the auto mode it's going to require you to go to the home position before you can start your cycle. So notice the turntable is going to the home position. The carriage did go back down and now the beep lets you know that you're ready to go again. So if I click this and go into the auto mode um, I, can, I can basically go to 18 different programs. So if I click this load button here you show it program 1 if you scroll up, you're going to show there's nine programs. And then if you keep going, there's actually nine more recordable programs. We're not going to go through your recordable programs in this video. We're just going to go through uh, using the nine. We will do another video that you can see online showing the recordable or the playback mode. Uh, that's a very highly customizable mode, which allows you to maneuver the machine um, in different configurations even more so than these program modes so if I go to program one and I want to know what does program one mean what does program one mean if I click this button here it's gonna tell me the bottom wraps are set for one here top wraps are set for one as well the tension is set at 52 out of 100 the rotation speed is set at 11 max is 12 the carriage out speed is set at 65 out of 100, and the down speed is 65 out of 100. Now, if I go back and I say, hey, you know what, I want to make some changes to this. If I click OK, now if I go back to those same buttons, if I click this bottom one, notice it's flashing. That means I can make a change. So I'm going to change that to 2. Now, if I go to the top wraps, I want to change that to 2. Go to tension, I'll say, hey, I want to go to 55 go to rotation speed, I'll put it down to 10. Up speed, I'll just go a couple up. Down speed, I'll go a couple up. Now if I click save and then okay, now program one is now set to the settings that I just put it to. Now if I wanna use program one, all I really have to do is hit the start button. So it's gonna go two wraps in the bottom and two on the top.
now the cycle is just about complete and we're done with that rep.